welcome back to our channel. We're the Garza Twins. I'm Britta. And I'm Carly. We would love it if you would subscribe down below. We do a lot of favorites videos. Um, we do get ready with me's. Yeah, we do weekly favorites. We try to upload at least once a week. Yeah, we've been a little slacky slacky, mm -hmm. but we are back. And today we're doing our August favorites. This is going up a little bit late, yeah. but we have some good stuff. So we have mostly like lifestyle. Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. Let's get into it. We'll just start with the beauty products we've been loving. I only had one. I'm trying a lot of new makeup and beauty products currently, so I feel like in September I'll have like more to share. Okay. But this was a rediscovered favorite, the Maybelline Colossal Mascara. I'm wearing it today, and this is just like a good tried and true mascara that gives you volume and length, and it's really black, it's affordable, it's from the drugstore. I wore this like 10 years ago and I rediscovered it a couple years ago and when I was thinking of a mascara to like repurchase I just went back to this because like I said it's just tried and true it's something good to have on hand the only thing I don't like about it is it does flake that doesn't really bother me for like six or seven dollars I just think it gives you like the like a good amount of natural volume for an everyday mascara mm -hmm. Okay, I have two Notorium products here, and if you guys have been watching us, we've been purchasing Notorium products since they launched. Like, when, when was that? 2019? Yeah. Maybe 2020? No, yeah, after that. Yeah, and we used to be so excited about every launch, like, try everything, order everything, and we just had a rough time in the beginning with their mm -hmm. products. Like, I feel like a lot of them would irritate our skin, or, like, something just wouldn't work out, or wouldn't work how it was supposed to. And then they recently started sending us PR, which we're so grateful for. And again, we've been huge fans of the brand and have always tried to like find products that we want to work yeah. with. Yeah, like we do love their lip balms, the lip masks. I love the cleansing balm. Cleansing balms. So there have so been many things, tubes. But just the ratio. Yeah, so. the ratio of like 80% of the things we've tried haven't worked for our skin. But then they sent us this um, PR package that just had a ton of their like best sellers in it. Yes, to celebrate. to celebrate launching in Ulta. Yeah, launching in Ulta. And these two were in there and we had never tried either of them before and it's the vitamin C complex serum and the barrier bounce and I was I like I go into testing any skincare like pretty pessimistically like oh I don't know if this is gonna work for me like now I have like weirdly dry like aging skin after I turn 33 and I break out quite often so it's just tricky to find skincare that works and the vitamin C I was shocked by I like the vitamin C in here I know I think it's like a newer vitamin C derivative. Um, it's sodium ascorbyl phosphate. I, I don't think it's like wildly used as much as L ascorbic acid or um, tetrahexyl ascorbic. You know the one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so I had never tried that form of vitamin C before. And then the um, consistency, consistency of the serum is very like, um, it's very like, water serum -y. like it's you can tell it's water based and it's very light almost like too light like once it's done drying my face feels a little tight like I definitely have to go in with a moisturizer after but I have loved this I honestly for some reason I feel like it has clear breakouts I had I don't know what in this would be doing that mm -hmm. but it's been helping like clear my skin um i've used it only for like a month so far so i can't tell a ton of brightening but i do feel like it's helped i've had some breakouts that were healing and i feel like it's helped to lighten those slightly so i'll keep you updated but i was just like so pleasantly surprised it has no weird smell because it doesn't have um for like it doesn't have like yeah like the one that makes it smell oh, is it l-ascorbic acid yeah i Maybe. think it's a derivative i'm a little confused i have to do like more research on what exactly is in here but really impressed. I know it's one of their most popular products. We had just never tried mm -hmm. it. And then this I've also been using every night. The Barrier Bounce Advanced Skin Hydrator. It says 5% squalene, 2% urea, and ceramides in here. And I know that my skin loves squalene, ceramides, and urea, so I wasn't so worried about using this. And I have been loving this. Like, I have noticed even last night I wore like a, um, kind of like an acid product and then I didn't feel like putting on like a full moisturizer so I just put this on top and it's like hydrating enough as like my nighttime moisturizer like it's hmm. so hydrating but it doesn't feel like extremely heavy it feels nourishing and you can tell it's like a hydrating moisturizing product but it doesn't feel super greasy or heavy on my skin which I, again is dry now so I've been absolutely loving this like as it stands, after using both of these a month, I would repurchase both of these again, which is huge, but I will keep you updated on both. 
I wanted to mention these earrings that I got on Amazon. They're that Pavoy brand that I've spoken about before. I love their stuff. They're non-sensitizing. Like, I have a pretty severe nickel allergy, and they say they don't have nickel, but they actually don't because everything I've tried hasn't irritated my ears. And I just wanted some, like, little hoops that I could throw on, even if I'm just running errands. They're super comfortable, lightweight. They're, like, a pretty ribbed gold. So I love these. I think they were, like, $12. Maybe I'll get them in silver. They're really cute. Yeah, they're super cute. So I wanted to mention those. Another major favorite we've had this month. I know everybody has been doing this, but Logan, what is his the cucumber guy? The cucumber guy on TikTok. Logan, I don't know his exact handle. We'll leave it down below, but he makes a cucumber a day and I don't even like cucumbers or I didn't think I liked cucumbers, but the way that he makes them are so good. I've always loved cucumbers. Um, our mom used to make like this cream cucumber recipe when we were younger and I loved it. And I made some like cucumbers last year so I feel mm -hmm. like when this came about I was already like I'm on board for this. But yeah, he does well, it's so mainly the mandolin because yes. we got the OXO like mini mandolin. It's $18. We got on Amazon. Link it below. And you can get them to be one millimeter, two millimeter, or three millimeters like tall. So I do the thinnest because I feel like then you can really like scoop up the sauce. My mouth is watering. I literally had one today because I'm so into it. We are so into them. We eat so many cucumbers now. And yeah. um, I will say we don't I know mandolins can be really scary, but we probably leave like this much cucumber left. I don't do, I like do like that much. And then I try to just cut the rest because it's not worth hurting your finger. So be really careful if, yeah. you, if you get one. We got the containers. He got two because the lids really lock on so you can really shake it up. Um, so we mainly do two. We do like the creamy one that you can do like Greek yogurt, cream cheese, dill, dill. red onion, etc. But my favorite is the spicy like Din Tai Fung type cucumber. So you do, we do coconut aminos because we use that instead of soy sauce. Um, I don't I actually think it tastes better than soy sauce. I, I don't used know what to not, is. but now I do too. Coconut aminos, rice vinegar. I do a lot of rice vinegar because I like mine really vinegary. Um, we use the chili oil from Trader Joe's, which is a must because it adds the spice. Garlic, honey, and is that it? Sesame oil. Oh, sesame oil. Yeah, mm -hmm. so super easy peasy. You just kind of like measure with your heart shake it up and you can let it marinate but i just eat it and it's like phenomenal yeah phenomenal big fave this month okay i can put a swatch of this but it's the glossier ultra lip in the shade pony so back when glossier launched these ultra lips i had bought the shade trench which is kind of like a warm brown and i remember really liking it at the time we were working in an office so it was like the perfect like easy lip could just like throw it on with a lip liner touch it up throughout the day and I always loved the pony shade, but it was used to be exclusive to Glossier's site. And then recently I saw it show up on Sephora. So I'm like, I'm going to order that on Sephora. And I love it. It's like a deeper sort of like cool tone mauve shade. And I think it's perfect for fall. I will say, I swear my trench color lasts longer on the lips. Like I've been wearing this, I mean like all the time this whole month. And I feel like it doesn't last as long as I remember, but it's easy to touch up with. It's kind of like a tinted, comfortable lip balm. And so I really like this, and I'm glad I got it. Another Tic Tac trend we, like, really got behind was this Nescafe Gold Espresso Blonde. I guess that's all. Oh, yeah. Called. It's basically what is it? It's just ground. Not, it's not even ground coffee. So powder. I don't know. Powder. Yeah, it's like powdered coffee. The only ingredient is coffee. 100% pure coffee. And oh, it's made in France. I didn't know that. Uh, somebody on TikTok said like that they love this specifically. There was another one that was going around, but we got this one because I love the idea that you can use this instead of like bagged coffee. And it says it makes 50 cups if you use one teaspoon. So we have like the little, we didn't bring it over here, but the little espresso cup, we'll link that down below too. And you literally just measure out a teaspoon and then fill it up to 60 ml, like mix it around and then we pour it over ice and just add some creamer. And it's like the perfect afternoon coffee drink. There's something about this that is so smooth. I don't know what it mm -hmm. is. It's like not acidic at all. Some of the smoothest coffee I've ever tasted. Or it says you can make an Americano too. Um, but anyway, yeah, I'm going to use it today in a cake recipe, so yeah, it's just and a good flavor. It's so economical because we got ours from Walmart too, so it was even cheaper than Target. It was like $6, and I've been using this for like my afternoon cup of coffee because we go through the Trader Joe's bagged coffee so quickly if I'm like using it twice a day, and I, I love it. It's and really it's good. It's like a nice glass container. It's like airtight. 
I really can't say enough good things. Yeah, I'm shocked at the price. I'm, I don't know. They must know. be making a lot of them. Yeah. Okay, our next favorite is like a personal favorite. Yeah. So it's the show Side Hustlers on Roku. So we were actually a part of the first episode. Yeah. And basically the premise of the show, and it's produced by Hello Sunshine, is um, like the show found a ton of women entrepreneurs and women that want to work their side hustle, so like their business full time. And then they got everyone together to pitch to the um, mentors, mentors, mentors yeah. which are Ashley Graham and Emma Greed. And so they picked these entrepreneurs, got to pitch, and then they Ashley and Emma chose like a couple that they wanted to mentor over six episodes mm -hmm. or six episodes and at the end those businesses got to pitch them for an investment and so we were only part of the first episode they didn't pick us to mentor um but we had such a good experience that day yeah so it was only one day of filming we were so grateful to be selected for this because mm -hmm. it was a really unique opportunity and the day was so fun because we just got to like talk to all these other entrepreneurs yeah and it was really a blast to meet everyone everyone was so, it was so inspiring yeah so inspiring we did oh sorry go ahead we did a blog post on clean coats because we we were on the show for Clean Coats, not Dyad. Um, and so I'll link that down below too where we kind of talk a little bit more about the experience. Yeah. Mm -hmm. but then we ended up watching the whole season in like mm -hmm. a day because the show was actually like so I good. I loved it. I was yeah. like not expecting to love it. Yeah, because we hadn't watched season one. Mm -hmm. um, so there is a season one and a season two. We were on season two. Uh, and it was, it ended up being like such a good show and we really enjoyed it. So we wanted to put it in our monthly favorites so you guys go watch it too. Yeah, and I had friends like text that were like, oh, I saw you and Carly on the show and like other small business owners and they said they decided to watch it because it's just nice to see like that you're not the only one kind of struggling like you feel less alone watching it so for sure if you have a small business mm -hmm. I think you would really enjoy it my book favorite of the month is One Star Romance by Laura Hankin. I'd never read anything by her. It says she's the author of The Daydreams, but hmm. I'd never read anything by her. Uh, our friend Dev gave this book five out of five stars, and I trust her reviews. And it came up in the library, so I was like, okay, I'll give it a go. And I am loving it. In all transparency, I'm only like 90% of the way through, but I read, this is my third book I read in August, and the other two I only gave three stars. This, for me, I think is going to be a four out of five maybe a five out of five tbd how it ends <laughs> but it's about rob and natalie and it's kind of an enemies to lovers but i was telling carly i don't know if this is a trope but where what is the trope where they find each other like year after year is that anything i don't know okay so the, this is basically enemies to lovers because natalie has a best friend rob has a best friend they end up together so they meet each other through their friends then they see each other again at the wedding of these friends then they see each other again at their friend's baby's baptism so they're not friends themselves and they like have a rocky start it's called One Star Romance because he gives her debut novel a one star review on Goodreads. So I just liked that too, how they like tied in like the mm -hmm. book thing. She's an author, he is in academia, and they're very, very different. So it's kind of like opposites attract too. I don't want to give too much away, but everyone loves Enemies to Lovers. So I think everyone would like find this book really fun to read. And I, I like books that do span over a certain amount of time, like this one is they'll kind of take breaks like a year a year later nine months later so it's not like a long span of time um but enough that you're like like the person has grown and they're in a different place in their life and i like that because it makes it a little more interesting um so yeah it's a really cute read i'm really really loving it i feel like it was a little slow to start but maybe around the 30 percent mark it picked up and i like couldn't put it down okay my book of my favorite book of the month and best I've read in a few months is Better Than the Movies by Lynn Painter. Elise Myers raved about this book and I trust her and her recs. So I immediately went to the library to get it and I gave this five out of five stars. I haven't mm. done a five star read in a long time, but I was just so enthralled with this book. I usually don't like YA books or like books about high schoolers, but this was just so cute. I literally caught myself grinning like ear to ear as I was reading this multiple times. Mm. Um, and so it's also an enemies to lovers. It follows Liz and Wes, their next door neighbors, and they sort of have this like 
ongoing battle over a parking spot and her like childhood crush comes back into the picture he moves back to their town and she basically asks Wes like you guys are friends help like make me look good help me like get him and so it's kind of like him trying to help her obviously you see where it's going um but it was just so cute I was so I loved all the they quoted like famous rom-coms throughout the book and I just I loved it it was so like happy happy ending and just really cute so highly recommend better than the movies thank you guys so much for watching our August favorites we are so ready for fall I'm like ready to dive into all the like fall makeup fall goodies yeah